Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. I want to make a video actually as a response to some comments that Elon Musk made about hydrogen cars versus electric cars. He thinks that hydrogen cars are dumb. Now I am a big car guy so I'm a fan and I also really like Elon Musk. I love what he's trying to do or what he is doing. I think it's really positive. I think it's really really great and I really I'm, I'm a fan. I like what he's doing. But when he first made that comment, I was totally on board. I thought, you know what? It makes a lot of sense. I think electric cars are the way to go. I love that the way that they drive, they have so much power from zero RPM. They're really, really great. However, with time, I kept thinking to myself, why are the Japanese so insistent on making hydrogen cars? I thought there must be some reasoning for them wanting to do this. And so when I thought about it more deeply, I realized that there, I really think that, that the hydrogen car, it would actually be great. I also think that the electric car would be great. I think there's a place for both of these type of cars in society. But this is the big reason why. I started thinking about energy storage. See, in an electric car, you have to store the energy in the batteries. Batteries obviously are, you need incredibly rare metals to make these batteries. The batteries can be rather toxic. What happens when they just die and they're all done? I know they're probably thinking about recycling those batteries. I just don't know what the byproducts of those things would be later on down the road. But when you look at a hydrogen car, all you do is you store hydrogen in some tanks. And obviously you just keep reusing these tanks for a very, very long time and you're gonna have practically an infinite amount of hydrogen. So that's one of the big benefits. Plus hydrogen cars are actually a lot cheaper than electric cars. They get much better range than electric cars. You can fill them up like within three minutes as compared to, I believe the numbers are like 30 minutes to get like 170 miles out of something like a Tesla. And the big problem is, is the Teslas are also really, really expensive. I know they have some lower priced ones, but they don't have the great range. You have to spend quite a bit of money to get that great range. Now, granted, with time, there's going to be better battery technology, but also with time, I'm sure the hydrogen cars are also going to get better. And, you know, and the more I look at Japan, I mean, they're quickly headed in the, direct, in the direction of becoming the first hydrogen society in the world. And, you know, Japanese are way ahead in a lot of things in the world. They're very intelligent, obviously, really great engineers. And I also find it interesting because obviously hydrogen has really great benefits for your health too. For those of you who haven't seen uh, my videos in regards to how it can benefit you or the best way to make it, check out my other videos. But I really would like it if someone like Elon Musk would really find out about the health benefits of hydrogen also, because I think he's doing great things. And from the things that I've read, he works really, really long hours, works just really hard. And I think that, you know, he's, it's probably affecting his health. So I really hope that he discovers the benefits of hydrogen in order to keep him healthy, because I'd love to see him stick around and do great things and even greater things than he has been doing. But in regards to the debate, you know, uh, the cars that are electric are also really heavy due to the batteries also. I just think that hydrogen might actually be a little simpler and more affordable for a lot of people, but electric is always cool and I'm a big fan of both. But the other thing that I like about hydrogen is that you could continue to use cars that we have on the road. You could continue to have the classic cars and you could drive those cars without polluting, which I think is really cool. For those of you who don't know, there was a gentleman, I believe it was back in the 80s, and he created like a kit so that you could run a car on hydrogen. He did it to his Corvette. It was super cool. And when it would run out of hydrogen, it would then be able to bypass and just go ahead and run on gasoline until it was able to be refilled with hydrogen. And he built a real simple station at his house. It was the coolest thing. In fact, I'll put a link down below so you guys can check out how he did this. It, to me, it's like the coolest thing. I believe the kit was something like $7,000. And if you have something like, a, I don't know, a 1970 Chevelle, you know, Chevy Chevelle with like a 454 and like a four speed on the floor and you just love classic cars and you want to continue to drive something like that and you don't want it to necessarily pollute, then you could get, if you can get a kit that could, you know, make your car run on hydrogen for like six, 7,000 bucks, I just think it'd be the coolest thing to keep a lot of these, you know, older classic cars on the road. So I just think hydrogen, there's definitely better benefits for hydrogen and not only for health, not only for automobiles, but now they're even looking into like agriculture. I mean, there's awesome things that you can do in the agricultural world and you could probably be making some amazing food that has amazing nutrients. So there is definitely a place for hydrogen in the world. And of course, electric, of course, there's a place for electric in the world. So I just think that both of them are beneficial. And I don't think that we should just think of hydrogen cars as dumb. I don't, I, that's the, probably the one of the only things that I probably disagree with uh, Elon Musk. 
Um, but beyond that, I just wanted to share my my viewpoint on this because I do think that hydrogen cars are cool and I think electric cars are also really cool. They're both cool. Gotta love them both. And so, you know, comment below and let me know what you guys think. Let me know any interesting opinions that you may have because I'm always open to, to hearing your guys' opinions about what you think between the hydrogen car and the electric car debate. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And go ahead and share the video if you think other people might find this interesting. And of course, don't, let, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that way, you know, the video can pop up when people are you know looking for these type of videos that really helps the channel actually and that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time on the next video